All right, this video goes out to Fandy. And basically the issue is they have a visualization here. They got category and sales. So this comes from the Superstore data set. And for some reason, there is no bar chart or line chart or anything coming up. Now, a lot of times people think that they've screwed it up. Okay. Um, so Fandy, if you're listening, you have not screwed it up. You have done it absolutely right. What's happened is that is a Tableau bug. Okay, that happens from time to time and it tends to get confused. So um, it's, I suppose, recognizing when you've done something wrong or if it's Tableau, that's the issue. And I suppose as a beginner, that's pretty hard to do. But here's what they've, they're trying to do. So let's grab this and you've got Superstore. So we've got, I'm using the new version. So 2020, you'll notice this is, they've changed this structure a little bit. But we've got category here. Right, and I think they had it on columns and I'm guessing sales, right? So we put that into rows and we have the bar. Now, the reason I know yours is working is because when I look in here, see how there's a number for the access? It means something is trying to display. Otherwise, there'd be nothing in the access. So if this happens, there's only a few explanations. So if someone gave this to me, I'd be like, well, is it actually zero for each? Most likely no, because if it was zero for each, then these this access would just be nothing, right? In fact, the way it displays if it's nothing is, oops, let me get out of my drawing tool. Okay, the way it displays if it's nothing, I believe is if I go um, like this and switch it to bar um, and we create a formula just called zero. So I'm just trying to replicate kind of what the data would look like, right? So we just go zero, go okay. So if I go sum of zero here, that's what it would look like. That for me is correct because it's actually, the, the access is based off whatever the data is. So whenever you see this, it means something else has happened. What I recommend is just save it, right? Go and, and close the software, open it up again, right? And it should hopefully fix it. If it doesn't fix it and it's still like that, what I found happens, is, oh, what you can do is bring something else in and it will reset it, right? Because it goes, okay, let's recalculate. Because sometimes it hasn't executed a new calculation, so it hasn't refreshed itself, right? So by adding that in and then taking it out, it may reset it and you'll be fine. Beyond that, you most likely have to get in touch with Tableau or just download the version again right because if i'm looking at yours from the left side i can tell it's maybe one of the older versions and it was maybe an issue on those older versions so check on the website so if i just go we go tableau desktop downloads right and we want to go into i think it's this one okay here you go and you'll see all the versions that are available Right, and they do have release notes on maybe some of the issues, um, but what I would recommend is just getting the latest one, right? Maybe not the latest, latest, maybe 0.2 or something, maybe 0.1. I don't like getting the latest all the time, just because in case they're still working some new technologies out, and 2020 has a lot of new features. Okay, um, so that is it. So Fandy, you're doing a great job. It's Tableau's fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to learn more about Tableau, there is a link to my full Tableau course in the description. And give me one of those likes. All right, bye.